Hello guys, today I would like to show you quite old computer called the Toshiba Tecra 8000 and as you can see this is quite old computer because it have Pentium 2 inside and it was designed for the Windows 98 so this is not a new design but if you take a look on the screen the bezel on the side is quite small and that is giving you a really good impression in terms of the screen size. So when I first opened it, I was impressed at how, how this screen is big for such an old computer. So let's take, uh, take a look, that's how it looks like from the top. On the front we've got a DVD-ROM drive, we've got a volume adjustment and a status LED. Over here we've got a quite beefy battery. Let me let me try open this because it requires some force and you have to pull it upward just like that. This is the battery. Oh, and that's a quite quite a beefy one as you can see it takes almost the space as the CD-ROM drive and on the side. Okay, so this is the CD-ROM drive, the DVD-ROM to be to be perfect. We've got a, a latch for the locking. If we would like to remove, we've got a latch that was probably used for the ejecting a PCMC slot, or maybe not because. I think they they were using for pushing. So what that was used for? Maybe for the for the DVD, the unlocking and the release. Is that possible? Let's try to. I I have to remove the screw. Okay. So we've got our PCMC. We've got our audio, video. I don't know if this is just an output or this is also an input. I don't know, you have to check these specs. We've got uh, under that rubber, we've got a connector for the external floppy in case we would like to use a floppy disk drive. On the bottom, on the back, we've got a video output. That's quite interesting. We've got a serial, the color monitor, the docking station, we've got our audio ports, the infrared mouse on the PS2, the parallel port, we've got a DC input, on the side we've got a fan, we've got a USB under flap, we've got our power on button, under that flap we've got a We've got a hard disk drive caddy that I'm showing on the other video. And basically that's all. Over there we've got a memory module. So that's a quick overview of the Toshiba Tecra 8000. Now I'm going to power it on and we are going to try to play some game. Okay, so as you can see I've got the the Windows bot into the MS-DOS mode. I'm going to run an old game. I'm not good at it, I'm just going to try to play it. Now, as you can see, I'm terrible. I'm terrible, let's try again. was nice.
And I'm not sure if we're going to win. Yes, we win that round. So as you can see, it's working. It's working quite well. You can play the, the old games. You can go to the... You can reboot the machine. And as you can see, the, the screen is giving you a, a good impression. So thank you very much for watching. See you next time and bye bye.